Hi everyone, this is Nikki Jameson here and in this video I'm going to give you a short overview of what you see when you open Rebel 5 Pro for the first time. Um, I'm hoping it's the first time for, for you if you're looking at it because I've opened the program so many times and I believe I might have actually set some preferences. So if it is slightly different, there is a way that you can always get to the welcome screen to see all the different um, parts of this program. But for now, I'm just showing you what I see when I open mine. So if you are opening Rebel Painter for the first time, you will have an idea of what you will see. It will, yours will be slightly different if you haven't used it before. So. The reason I couldn't get past this particular um, screen to show you anything else was because whenever you open Rebel 5 Pro or when you open the program, the first thing, if you have your preferences set and you haven't changed them, is that it will ask you um, what you want to start with. So you can see in the left hand side here, I have a list, I've actually been quite busy, I have a list of all the paintings I've worked on. These are all the, it's a list of recent paintings. Then on the right hand side or in the middle, you have some options of painting sizes that you may want to use. Typically it will pick up the painting size that you used the last time you used um, Rebel. And you can choose whether you want the resolution for screen or whether you want the resolution for print. I tend to pick print because there's every chance I might print my um, paintings so you have you can pick your canvas size and you can also choose some favorites so for now i'm going to leave it in landscape but you can also um, have a portrait size and here it will tell you all the information about the canvas okay so it's 1920 times 18 um, one te times 1080 pixels and the resolution i believe is the dpi is is 300 so you won't don't, if it's a screen you don't really need to worry about that and then it will ask you if what canvas you want to pick which you can also you can change you can um change it to any kind of canvas or paper here depending on what you want to do i have a lot of papers here but if you're just starting you would probably have the ones that came with with um with rebel I was almost going to say Coral Painter then because I've just done a video on Coral Painter, but with Rebel and you can choose your color profile. I'm just going to use the built in one and then you just say OK and then it will resolve the canvas size for you and then you can start uh, painting. So let's just go on a whistle stop tour of what's here. So to paint, I will act I tend to add a layer right now. I think we're in the watercolor layer. So I tend to add a layer and then I start painting on the layer. But I don't want to distract from what we're going to do here. So what I'm going to show you here is that on the left hand side, you have your toolbar with the brushes. So you have your oil and acrylic. You have your express oils, which are very good for um, doing uh, blocked in backgrounds, um, so on and the like. You have your watercolor. That's how we we created uh, this okay and you have um, your pen your pens your pencils markers um, these are pastels actually and then you also have markers and airbrushes okay so if you were to click on any of these it will bring up the the presets the brushes and the presets so these are the marker brushes okay these are the marker brushes. You've got a variety of brushes and you can always get more brushes in the community. So these are the pastel brushes. If you want to download more, you can download them in the community. So for now, we're going to stay um, there. Now, um, what you have here below um, the tools and I just want to move that a little bit is the, um, the tool properties. So these are all the brush properties. You can make your brush larger or smaller using this okay you can create brushes it shows the brush creator and you can smooth the lines um, you can change the opacity of any brush okay so you can make it appear lighter i'm just going to pause the diffusion on that 
you can um and you this is we're in watercolor at the moment but the, as you've seen there are all these other brushes uh for watercolor you can you can change the amount of water in the brush and that will affect what the brush actually um what the brush does if you have less water it's going to be a drier brush it won't drip as much so you have uh, the water controls basically you have your controls here you also have um, options for the brushes so you can paint you can paint and mix which will then mix with the paint that you've got uh, already on the canvas if you turn pigment mixer on it will mix paint um, naturally it, it is a special thing um, special to rebel 5 pro um, you can paint and blend which is great if you are uh, working in the oils or even in the watercolor but it allows you to let's just pick another color here show you this you can see it's it blends that um, paint together okay so that's a that's a special um, thing I think I've got diffusion on I can't remember whether I've got it on or off oh, I had it off I'm gonna dry that layer and leave that like that okay and you can also um, blend by itself so just you just blend the paint or you can erase so you can erase any paint that you do not want on your canvas and so depending on the uh, brush that you choose or the category that you choose you will you can change all these settings and get different um, outputs and effects from your um, from your brushes so you've got a lot of flexibility here okay so this is a flat thick brush it'll tell you which brush you're you're on you can also change the brush settings you can um, if you're using the oils you can change the oiliness of the brushes so this is the express oils if you're in the acrylics you have the option to have a multicolor brush let's put it on paint a multicolor brush or a dirty brush which means that it will pull the paints from the last uh, from the last brush or you can have both okay so that's the fan brush that's why it's got that fan you can't probably can't see that but that's what that will do so you have lots of options there you have to play around with them you'll also see uh, your brushes and your volume presets so sizes of the brushes which you can change there but all the different brushes in their categories and as I said you can all you can always get more uh, brushes but you can collapse these and you can even move these palettes around um, so that they're not locked you can have them floating and you can or you can have them here so under the oil and acrylics you've got the knives you've got the round brushes rakes dabbers and flat brushes etc okay so these are your brushes which you will see here you will also see some controls down here where you can share brushes you can duplicate brush presets and you can remove um, brush presets if you like um, I have my reference um, I can close that but if you go to window you can have any of these windows open you can record time lapses so there are lots of options here you can have them showing or not showing okay uh, I want to go to the right hand side and on the right hand side here's where I have my color sets and color palettes so you can either use a color set and these are really a bit tiny but you can pull out these the, these palettes you can add to the, these, these palettes and you can change them so depending on which one you use you get a whole raft of colors here or you can use the more familiar color wheel and you can paint from that you, you can always and I believe I had it out you can always also have a mixer palette where you can mix your own colors and I'm not sure ah so I can put colors in there I'm gonna cancel that right now because I need to make sure I understand how to open it I know I opened it and I can't remember because I don't use it an awful lot of the time and then I have stencils open but stencils we'll look at in another video here you have visual settings if you choose to have them open they are useful for watercolor and so you can you can make all sorts of presets to change the appearance and um, behavior of your watercolor 
you can create drips you need to look at this whenever you change your brushes because the settings can change and for oils and acrylics you can change the depth of the impasto okay so you can make it thick you can see how thick it is there or you can make it you can turn it right down and have a less thick brush so these are the visual settings which you probably will have open uh, and very useful whichever brush category you're in and last but not least we have this we have the layers category here so here's where you see your layers so your layers for painting the pigment mixer which i am turning off at the moment your opacity your opacity settings and um layers at the bottom now here's a neat little trick if you want to change the canvas you're painting on you can do that by just clicking canvas and it's very very versatile so let's say i want to paint on this hemp smooth and i'll use the default so i'll just click on on hemp smooth and just say okay and what it will do is it will change the paper for you and you can then paint continue painting on that layer and you'll see the properties of the paint and the color will change depending on what paper you have so always remember that that when you see a painting um, when you see a painting it's going to be changed by the paper that you use or the properties of the paper that you use so one other thing I wanted to mention here um, so you can change this is where you turn on the visual settings here's where you add subtract or collapse or delete layers and this very interesting thing here interesting part at the top very important if you're in watercolor you can change the angle of your drips so this this tilts it's like tilting your um, paper or tilting your, your tablet so if I go back into the watercolor very quickly and I pick a color and I believe I've got my visual setting so it creates drips and let's say I just make a mark okay let's make a quick mark there um, if I was to change move the tilt you'll see the water is and the, is, is flowing to where you change it it's really such a neat tool so it's going to turn and it's going to flow the other way it's, it's slowly going to turn so this is really really unique to rebel rebel 5 so um but it's very very you can use you can be so creative with with this you don't have to have your drips just coming down all the time you can do all sorts of um um wonderful things with it there's obviously so much more um with rebel that you will find and so much more to use but i thought i would just go over some of the main things that you'll see when when you open the program and when you start using it so i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you in another video check out my channel for other videos about rebel 5 painting thanks and take care